Hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. And this is Two Neighbors. Ryan, yes. what do we got going on today? All right guys, so today, being proud Canadians, we are reacting to one of our own, Mr. Jim Carrey. So I don't know how we haven't done Jim Carrey stand up yet. Um, absolutely love Jim Carrey. Funny, not only is he Canadian, but he grew up like 15 minutes from where we live and my great aunt actually taught him in school oh. um, and got to hear lots of stories about him when he was younger and just how crazy and rambunctious oh. he was as a as, as a youth. Adolescent. Yeah, but uh, we get to watch some old uh, old Jim Carrey stand up and uh, very excited to do so. Yeah, so like, like I said, he grew up literally 15 minutes away from yep. Where we are here, and uh, although he lives in Los Angeles and has for a long time, yeah. he never really forgets his Canadian roots, which is pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, he is he is a Canadian, and it's crazy. I'm sure there's a lot of you being like, Jim Carrey's not Canadian. He is, you know, but he is. Uh, he, he grew up over yonder. <laughs> yeah, you know, he uh, yeah he grew up in Ontario, Canada, and uh, not you know in his early early age, um, and at one point his family was homeless. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, they lived in a car, uh, essentially, uh, for, for, I don't know exactly the time period, but they, they were, yeah, they were on tough times. So, uh, yeah, he comes from humble beginnings. But I remember the first time I saw, I went to Yuck Yucks in downtown Toronto, and there was his uh, headshot signed for Yuck Yucks. I'm yeah. like, that's so cool. Yeah. And that's, I think that's when I found out that Jim Carrey was uh, Canadian. I didn't yeah. know that beforehand, but uh, yeah, so. Great, great to try and do a stand-up comedian that's from Canada. And uh, speaking of Canada, check out OCanadaSwag.com where you can get some sweet Canadian swag. Uh, punch in the code Two Neighbors and you'll receive 20% off your order, plus free shipping and pay no tax. Fantastic, fantastic uh, uh, merchandise there. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel Two Neighbors. We really do appreciate it. We put out content every single day. So Ryan, yeah. without further ado, please uh, begin the Jim Carrey. He's so young there. Mm -hmm. Good to be here. My name is Jim Carrey, and how are you this evening? Alrighty then. Uh, <laughs> Jane. I'm born, you know, I, I was raised in this country, you know. And, there you uh, go. I live in Los Angeles now. Uh, this is just for laughs, which is Canadian. No, I do. I live in Los Angeles. It's weird, though, you know, because when you tell people in Los Angeles you grew up in Canada, they, they don't know what goes on up here, you know? So a lot of times you get the same answer. Wow! Must have been cold! <laughs> you know? I used to get upset. I used to explain to them about the four different kinds of seasons we have and stuff like that, but now I find it's more fun just to go along with it. <laughs> yes. Canada. It was a frozen, hostile wasteland. <laughs> and there was much work to be done. If we were to survive the elements. <laughs> After boring a hole through the ice to find food, <laughs> my good friend Nan took an eye. <laughs> Build an igloo to protect ourselves from polar bears and flying hockey pucks. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Then we would drink a lot of beer. Starry checks out. When took was ready, he would tell me the story of the great moose who said to the little squirrel, Hey, Rocky, <laughs> watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. <laughs> Is Rocky and Bullwinkle Canadian? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Love snow. I here. think it is. I think it is. I feel good tonight. Really good. Excellent. Super. I just want to go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> I think those subliminal motivation tapes are starting to make a difference. <laughs> you know? Seems like we're always trying to fend off these negative impulses, you know? It's like you're with a friend, could be your best friend in the whole world, stand about two feet away talking to you. You're thinking, my goodness, I could just fire out and hit him right there. <laughs> you would never expect it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Insanity 
is never that far away. <laughs> the people who stay sane are the people who can make those quick decisions. Hmm. Should I stick my fingers into the fan or leave the room right now? <laughs> Should I run the blade of this razor across my tongue or just keep shaving? <laughs> You're right there. You can just go. <laughs> Like See, this. luckily, most of us have that little voice inside our head that says, Ah, ah, ah. Turning the car into oncoming traffic is counterproductive. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate to this. Yeah, that's good. We learn to control our impulse, and then we could all be like Jimmy Stewart. You know? I love that guy. You know, because no matter what happens, no matter how bad things get, Jimmy Stewart can look at it in a positive way. Well, I guess we're going to have ourselves a nuclear holocaust. Well, look at that mushroom cloud. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful. <laughs> the amazing thing to me is that there's something so magnificent, so colorful, could just. Melt your face right off. <laughs> <laughs> That's positive energy. You know? We gotta find a way to channel these impulses in a positive way. That's why I love music, man. Anything that makes a human being wanna go <laughs> <laughs> is okay with me. We should open up the parameters of what we listen to though, you know? There's just so much wonderful music in the world. Like it bothers me that the people in this country and the United States don't know about the incredible pop music coming out of the Middle East right now. <laughs> I'm totally into it. I'd like to be the one to bring it to the West. Come on, clap your hands. We'll do one of the songs. Just like that. <laughs> we don't get to listen to that, you know? The radio is just so much different over there. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next on Levy a Rap, DJ Jazzy Mahachnabar. <laughs> that was well done. Fresh rocks on Johnny. <laughs> first, a word from our hostage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jim Carrey, ladies Jim Carrey. And it's age okay. <laughs> Yeah, so there, you know, there's some things there that, that probably would apply, especially the introduction. How the hell would fly about, today? Even, talking about our Native Americans. Apparently, I didn't see. Apparently, even Bill Burr got in trouble for the Grammys or something. Oh, he said really? Joke. He's under heat. I don't even know what he said, but you know what? Good for you, Bill. I don't know yeah, what he said, but you go, Bill. You actually, do whatever you want. I should probably know what he said before I say good for you. <laughs> yeah. Bill Burr finally. I haven't seen anything. anything. I haven't <laughs> seen anything. Just for the record, that's all, Ryan. Not me. Yeah. Um, comedy's comedy, we know that. So. You know, with Jim Carrey, it's like, I mean, the, the stuff they comes up with, like a lot of comedians, is just so far out there sometimes, and, and you relate to it in some way. But also, so much a part of his thing is his shtick with his body mm -hmm. and his mannerisms. I mean, when you do like, when you think of Jim Carrey, you just think like, oh, righty then! <laughs> like, it's, it's his mouth just as much as what he's doing yeah. that has an impact on like that being memorable. And in that set alone, like I mean that was in his early days, you know, before I think all the major movies that he did, and he was clearly a big stand-up comedian. Uh, but like, you know, some of those things are risky. Like I'm not talking about the context of what he's talking about, but like when he's trying to hype the crowd, like if you don't have a crowd's attention and and he's not able to command them like that, like your jokes just like fall flat. And that's like where you see like comedians taking risks. You know, that that's that's the hard thing. And um, 
But that's why he's so good at it. Yeah, he was such a, I mean, such a wild, crazy comedian. And I remember like, I, 100% no question about it. The hardest I ever laughed going to a theater, and I obviously seen part one, when I went to see Ace Ventura part two in theaters, yeah. um, and it's the hardest I ever laughed like yeah. in a theater. I was just dying. Oh, that's that was it the was, start of it all for him, yeah, right? Yeah, so I, I remember hearing, so he did Ace Ventura one, and he like blew up, yep. and then um, he filmed, uh, what did he film? He filmed another one uh, right after it, and he got paid like next to nothing for doing it because he'd actually, saw, I think it was a mask. I think it was he the mask too. He got paid next to nothing yeah, for doing the mask. Yeah, he got that signed before. That's right. Yeah. He signed on to do that before Ace Ventura. Yeah. His stock went through the roof, but he'd already signed the deal to do yeah. the mask. So he got paid like nothing, but still, still, I think he got his got, payday yeah, after he that. Yeah, got paid well, one hundred percent. And but, obviously, uh, Dumb and Dumber, but uh, yeah, he is he is great. I wish he did stand up. He had like a little bit of a meltdown over the past few years. Yeah, uh, you know, he, he, he was da dating Jenna McCartney, I think, at one point, and then she broke up with him, and then he kind of like went a, l a little bit into the depression mode. He did the whole questioning. Yeah, like, like thing, exactly. Like, questioning and yeah. grew the, grew yeah. the big beard. Yeah, grew, yeah that's like, what I'm doing. Like, but he, he did that like where he went to like some fashion show and like the lady interviewed him and she's like, you know, what are you wearing tonight? What does it matter what I'm wearing? You know, what does life yeah. even mean? Or, or like something yeah. along those lines. Like he was just really throwing her a curveball. I don't care. But Jim, you got really dressed up for the occasion. You look good. No, I Is that an accident? I didn't get dressed Who up. Who did? There is no me. There's no you. No. We're not here. This is a dream. There's just things happening. And there are clusters of tetrahedrons moving around together. Okay. And that was probably one of the more savage moments of Jim Carrey. We're like, okay, that's kind of like partially like that's a bit of a dick move to do to put someone like on that on like that. Yeah. Um, but nonetheless, Jim Carrey has a record of being an amazingly funny, talented man, and by all means, he is Canadian at heart. And uh, we salute you, Jim Carrey. Thank you very much yeah. for all your uh, laughs that you shared over the years. And uh, yeah. That's all I have to say about Jim Carrey. But uh, guys, if you have more suggestions of Jim Carrey stand-up or anything by that matter yeah. uh, with Jim Carrey, please send it our way, hashtag my request uh, with a URL link in the comments. And don't forget to check out ocanaswag.com where you can get some sweet Canadian themed swag just like this and that and all this other stuff down here. Uh, punch in two neighbors and you'll get 20% off plus free shipping and pay no tax when you punch it in the, in the coupon code at checkout. Um, yeah, free shipping. On all orders, Canada, US, jump on it. And uh, Ryan. Canadian, Canadian dollars. Oh, too, Canadian though, dollars too. Let's yeah. put, put Doesn't hurt. Too. Doesn't, Doesn't hurt. hurt those <laughs> American dollars. Uh, and Ryan, what else should these lovely people do? Like, share, and subscribe, guys. It helps and we really do appreciate it. When you hit that subscribe button, make sure you turn on that bell for notifications. We post new content every single day and you don't want to miss it. That's it for our show today, guys. Please subscribe to the channel, Two Neighbors, and we will see you next time. Later, guys. Smoke it! <laughs>